Hello and welcome back to another Xbox video. So right off the back of my last video, which I made this thing behind me, thank you very much for all the people who have liked, commented and shared that video. Project X is well underway now and I've got a few modifications coming soon. That's for another video. So what I've done, I've got back into the Xbox original lately and I've been scanning eBay for broken ones as such and I came across this one. Now, if you're familiar with Xbox Originals and someone says that I powered it on and I just get a flashing green and orange light, you will know that all it needs is just an AV cable plugging in. So anyway, I bought it for around about £20, took my chances on it and it fired up. And inside it, well, when I say inside it, this machine has also been soft modded. And a good friend of mine has said it's a very, very old version of Evolution X, which is now called Evo X. So that's been soft modded. I took the clock capacitor out straight away uh, because I've had these in the past and I've never really given it much thought, to be honest with you. I've always just left them as they are. But when I, I get one of these now, I get it open, check the clock capacitor, and it was, it, well, it had leaked all over the board. So I've cleaned it all up, took it out. That will not get be getting replaced. Today's one, I've noticed the other day, well, today's video is going to be replacing the power. I think it's the, is it the power line caps or something? I've got a bunch of them here anyway. I've got a bunch of about five capacitors. Now, these are 3300 UF 10 volt. And when I looked at the day, I seen them quite, well, bulging, should we say. So I thought, you know what, today's video, because this, uh, it's got a few issues. Obviously, the disk drive gets stuck in and out. And basically, I'm going to do a little mini series on this thing. You've, you've seen these videos before on YouTube. I just wanted to have a go with myself. So I'm going to do things like uh, a motherboard uh, removal and clean. I don't know what rev is in this. As I say, I've only just took out the cap uh, of the clock and that's it. So I'm going to have a look what rev this is today as well. And there's going to be a video on like the disk drive, re refurbishment and other little things in general and just get it up, back up to scratch. But yeah, today's video, I'm going to hopefully, when I say hopefully, I haven't replaced capacitors for a while. through hole capacitors are quite easy in my opinion. It's the uh, SMD ones, which are a pain in the bloody ass. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to open this little baby up and uh, we're going to hopefully replace five power line capacitors. Right, so just before we open this thing up, I'm just going to check when the MFR date was. Uh, the MFR date was the 7th of the 7th. You can just see that there. 2003. So it's definitely not a revision one. So uh, I know that because the heatsink is on the actual GPU and it's not the fan. So uh, without further ado, and with the magic of camera work and trickery, I'm gonna have this all open for you. Right, so that out the way, let's have a look at these caps. Now you might be able to see there. Oh, got a screw loose. Yeah, there we go. So there's some caps there, which if I just focus the camera, are slightly bulging. So there's the 33 UF ones as well. So I've got a packet of five and there's three there which are bulging. So I think I'm just going to replace the ones that are bulging. So there's only going to be three today. And maybe that one as well. Maybe that one. I don't know. It's not bulging, but I may as well just um, replace that as well. This one here, I mean, you know, as I say, shall I replace that? That's where the pack of five comes from, as you can see there. There's the 300 UF. Right now, I haven't really checked what rev this is, and I think if you turn it over, where does it say on this board what rev it is? Um, I don't know, I don't know. Let's have a look. Well, it's definitely not a rev one anyway. If anyone knows what rev this is, or what they reckon it is, please drop a comment below, but I will actually have a quick look. I mean, it's quite dirty, and as I say, I haven't touched it, and this is the first time this motherboard has been out of the console. Um, as you can see, the GPU heatsink there, so it's definitely not a Rev 1. How the friggin' hell do you, do you find out? Hang on, I'll, I'll be back. Right, I'm a little bit unsure. I don't know where I'm looking. As I say, I'm just getting back into the Xbox originals now, so I don't know where I should be looking. And I haven't got my glasses on, so some eagle-eyed viewer, if you're watching this video, may be able to find out. But anyway, let's crack on with the show. 
Right, so just before we start, here are the caps. Uh, I think they were four pounds off eBay. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm just using a bog standard solder nine and just bog standard tools. So I'm going to replace these two as well. So I'm going to start with these two, with them being the easiest ones. These are a little bit sort of, you know, uh, compacted there. So I'm going to do these two first. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the whole process of filming me soldering, but uh, it's just going to be probably one, and then I'll speed the process up and I'll show you the finished product. But in all honesty, they're dead easy. They're dead easy. You just look for the holes underneath, which are them two there for that one. Solder wiggle it pull it out you can snap it off and as you can see there that one there is where the clock capacitor was and there was a slight bit of corrosion there but there's a tiny bit of the leg stuck in but i haven't cleaned this board up yet so it's all going to be when i've done these capacitors i'm going to probably uh, either put it in the dishwasher or i'm just going to give it a full um ipa clean or whatever uh alcohol bath or whatever but it's going to be all spick and span contact cleaner as well and it'll all look uh, ship shape pretty soon so i've done a few capacitor replacements in the past uh, only these style really if it goes smd i get someone else to do it and there's a way to do it all you do is just follow the line there like that on the old capacitor and then replace it with that one on that way so if you put it that way you'll have some serious instability issues should we say so um not really the same size but they're exactly the same so just let me double check before we do crack on it is a 33 and it's a 10 volts as well there as you can see 3300 i should say 3300 uf and i say that's going on there so without further ado um let's get this on righty ho okay so we're going to remove this one first and as you can see they are where the two holes are there we'll just double check now there's people do this in different ways i myself i'm just heating the thing up and i'm just gonna basically like just show you how you can take this off without um you know snapping it off basically so i'm normally trying to cover both of the holes and as i'm heating the solder up i can feel the thing wiggle i mean people put solder on there but in all honesty now it's you know everyone does it their own way don't they so you know, i can feel it just coming through there there's one out Oh, it's quite hot. I'll just show you that there. You can just see one of the legs there just coming out there. So and then the other one has just popped out. There we go. I think I might have broke a little bit of the leg off but we'll clean that up if you're unsure as well when you take it out that white mark as well will tell you where you're going wrong so you need to put the mark thing go on that as well so it faces right so there's the first one in and a little bit more solder on the back of that it's a little bit before we snip that off in a bit Here we go. As you can see, when you spin it over, it's nice and flat. It's solid as well, it's going nowhere. So there's the first one in. And the second one now is going to be this one on the other end. And uh, I won't bother showing you the whole process, but I'll come back to you when I've uh, done them all and I'm going to snip the little legs off at the bottom as well.
Right, so the caps are in, a continuity test with the multimeter all worked out fine. I've just given the board a little bit of a going over with some IPA and an electric uh, brush. So uh, all power in, are in the back of Senatelli on. And let's power this beast on. Just make sure I've got AV selected. Oh, that's scarred, I don't want that. There we go. Microsoft Evolution. Now, a good mate of mine says that that is a very, very, very old version of what we now know, Evo X. So I'm just going to put a game in, put a controller in, and just see if it actually does work and I get sound. Right now, in terms of what's on this, there's nothing on it. I've checked on the uh, games on HD and there's nothing. So we're just going to put a game in. My favourite racing game of all time, or on the Xbox. Now, just before I go any further as well, the disk drive, it does open. Sometimes it doesn't close. It might make a line out of me now. See, it's not. You just need a little bit of a nudge. Whoopsie, I'm going about. Come here, come here. A gentle nudge, a gentle nudge. Gentle nudge. So that belt will need looking at. But, like I say, that's for a future video, that one. I'm going to be stripping it down in parts, apart from the hard drive. Um. Here we go, launch DVD and loading. Give it a bit of volume because I bloody love the soundtrack on this game. Straight into the action, straight into the action. F50, automatic, outrun mode, pass and breeze. Not me favours the cars on this, but it's good. Right, she's fine. Oh, what a little handbrake. Right, so that was phase one over. Now, the second phase is probably going to be the DVD drive. It's going to basically just get, like, cleaned out, stripped down, re-oiled. All the rails are going to get re-greased. I'm going to sort the belt issue out as well. That's what's stopping it from coming in and out sometimes. Possibly a new belt or just put it in warm water and just give it a good clean. That's what I've always done, to be honest with you. Um, thermal paste as well on the GPU and CPU is going to get replaced. Hard drive is going to stay as it is. The motherboard is going to have a bit more of a deeper clean. That was just a bit of a quick once over to some IPA. Um, I'll probably throw it maybe in the dishwasher. I don't know. Just give it a good clean, get it all shiny. Um, and in terms of what I'm going to do with it, originally I did buy it for spares. If this thing... Huh? Mouse just jumped off the telly there. Um, if this thing ever sort of packed in, like I've mentioned in the previous video, it's easy to swap out. Uh, I was going to put the internals of this into that one and have that modified and... Um, modified? Modders? Yeah, modified. Um, so I don't know to be honest with you, it's, as I say, I bought this spare repair, there's nothing wrong with it, it just needs a little bit of TLC, it's not the worst one I've had, I mean I've bought some absolute stinkers from the car boot sales, and I mean they've been absolutely filthy, but this one's not too bad in terms of rust and corrosion, there's virtually nothing, you know, nothing of it, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit like, these consoles are a bit like, 
what the Amiga means to me as well. I've got tons and tons of memories of this uh, console. I mean, I've had PS1s and 2s. Didn't have them for that long, but this one I had for a few years, and it was the first thing. Was it the first console I ever played San Andreas on? Yeah, first console I ever played San Andreas on. So yeah, it's going to stay as it is. It's not going to get torn down. It's going to get a nice, nice overhaul. The case as well. The case is going to get all stripped down. It's all going to get cleaned and all that whatnot. But yeah, there for future videos. And as I say, you've seen them in the past on YouTube. I just thought I'd have a little go with it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, as always, folks, thanks for watching that video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Siri!